Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to add colors to our rhino, um, rhino objects through Grasshopper. And we can't bake these objects with the colors in, unless we use meshes, but that's for a different tutorial. Today we're just going through the basics of the color buttons. And so in this one we can toggle the colors. So to create this, I'm just going to delete these definitions. And right now we have a BREP button. And we set the geometry in, in Rhino into Grasshopper. And then I'm going to go to Vector and grab the AHSV button, which is the Hue Saturated Value. And I'm just going to assign these sliders into the slot. A is for Alpha Channel. If you guys know what that is, you guys can mess with it. And then the next thing we need to do is just go back to Parameters, go to Special, and grab the Custom Preview. And this is, lets us preview the shade onto our geometry. So I'm now I'll unpreview the BREP. And now we can toggle these sliders and let us pick the color of our geometry. We can also decrease the saturation and decrease the value on the on the geometry. So we can pick any color we want. Another way to to preview colors is using the from vector go to color and grab the ARGB. The the fractional one is you just take 255 and div um, divide it by 255 to use it. But we'll just use the ARGB since it's already in terms of 255. So I'll just put this into R, this into G, and this into B. And this will create us red since there's 255 values of red and zero green or blue. I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And I'm going to apply these sliders into the RGB. And then I'm going to go to color and grab the blend colors button. And I'm going to put one into B and one into A. And then I'm going to go back to parameters and grab a custom preview. And this will go into S. And then the geometry will go into our B rep. So now we, we define that one RGB is red and the other one's blue. And red and blue makes purple. So you guys can start mixing colors together now. And we can we can have less of a more or more bluish purple or more of a red purple and we can also add different colors and start blending two colors together and that's how you create colors applied to rhino rhino objects and thanks for watching